I don't know what I was thinking before. Hi, Dishies. Welcome back to the parlor. I went to some estate sales this past weekend. I went to two estate sales and I spent a lot of money, more than I normally spent. I think I spent, at the first estate sale, I spent about 30 something dollars. And actually at the second estate sale, I spent about $30 also. So, so the first thing I'm gonna show you are these vintage children's books that I got. I got six of them. I think it was $24 for the six of them. But I, I really, really love this type of thing. And I thought, you know, $4 a piece, that's not bad at all. And I definitely would have paid that if I saw it at a thrift shop or a charity shop. So you tell me what you think. Although these books are old, they're mainly from the 1930s, they're, they're rep reprints. So the original prints were the early 19 teens. Um, for most of them, I think I tried to do a little bit of research. So the first first one is Rhymes for Kindly Children by Ethel Fairmont. And it's they're worn in different ways. Um, some are more worn than others. You can see this one's kind of torn a little bit. So these are little poems. Look at this, the stars. Look at that. One, the Chatterlings in Wordland. And this one was from 1935. And look at this, it says the golden hour, which I think may have been like a library edition or a school edition. I don't collect books. Our course is as true as the North Star. But I mean, I don't collect them in any sort of knowledgeable way, but I do love children's books. And here they are. Suitcase, carpet bag, valise, satchel, telescope. This is such a cool book. Elastic, so it's different words and little, and a story that goes along. It's absolutely fantastic. To obtain, to receive. So it's a story and then a little vocabulary lesson at the same time. This is called Mother Earth's Children. This was my favorite. It's called The Frolics of the Fruits and Vegetables. This is by Elizabeth Gordon, and this one is from 1914. And this says The Golden Hour, too, and they have these amazing, amazing artwork in the front and the back. So these are also on the back of the book, too. Persimmon said, I'm up so high, I can reach out and touch the sky. Br'er Possum said, don't reach too far, you might, you might pull out a shining star. The pumpkin children, every one, on Halloween go out for fun. With Jack-o'-lantern and his crew, they find such jolly things to do. The lemons every summer go in groups to see the Wild West show. Come rain or shine, they never stay at home on any circus day. And look at these. The next one by Ruth Campbell, the cat whose whiskers slipped. This one's, this one's in rough shape. Look at the cover. Look at the back. Amazing. These are great. I absolutely love them. Look at this. The Robin Who Lost His Song. So these are like little fables I love. The Squirrel Who Cracked His Chatter. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh. Look. 
Bird Children by Elizabeth Gordon. This was originally 1912, but this edition is 1939. Look at this. I don't know about you, but that's worth the price just for that to me. So these are depictions of birds, which are children. Yellow warbler comes to stay along about the 1st of May. He likes to live by pond or rill and builds his nest with care and skill. But look. I could probably clean up these pieces a little bit, but okay, one more. It's called The Turned Intos, also by Elizabeth Gordon. Look at that. They're so beautiful. The June Bug Twins. Was this the scary one? Maybe it wasn't. Here's the cicadas, you East Coasters and your cicadas. We don't know what that is out here on the West Coast. We don't know how to pronounce it. We don't know what it is. Isn't that amazing? It's beautiful. Trapdoor spider. These are gorgeous. Okay, well, we can't look at these all day. So, in one of the bedrooms, they had this bag of ornaments. Look at these circus ornaments. These are incredible. They're Christmas ornaments, but circus animals. Well, not this one. This is an owl. They're sequins, felt. Aren't these gorgeous? So there's about nine of them in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a lion. His little, his little fringe is scrunched back. They're gorgeous. There's a little bit of wear on some of them. You know, his little, his little feet are a little bit worn. The kitty, she's got some sequins missing and her nose is missing. Look at her little pipe cleaner tail. Aren't these wonderful? Look at the elephant. Aren't those so cool? Here's a panda in a suit. <laughs> and a little mouse. And another little mouse. This one's just a little bit different. This one is velvet. And look at this giraffe. Look at his eyes. Aren't those neat? So I got those there and I will be reselling those. I got some other Christmas things at the other estate sale, but you're only going to get a peek because maybe there'll be a Christmas in July sale or collab or something and I want to save it for that. And I got this little purse. I don't think it had been used, but it, it does have a couple little dirty spots on it, but it's clean as a whistle inside. This is just satin inside. But I use things like this, so I will just be using that. There's a place for your glasses or whatnot. Yeah, and I thought there was a tag on here says Lady Buxton. So 
those were the things in the house. And then they had lots of little whatnot things in the garage. The first thing I found in the garage was this package of darling Halloween plates. And again, sorry about the glare. There are six seven inch plates. And these are that hard plastic, the Ullman Company. Oh, sorry, we live right by the fire station and the police station. So these were from Moscatel's. There's the price tag there. And I don't know that store because we don't have that store around here and we never have. So I don't know where these came from. But these are really darling. China plates, six of them, new in the package. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with those yet. I'll probably sell them. And I got this package of candles, which I'm actually using in a little bucket for 4th of July with some other candles, some red and white candles. These are by Candlelight, made in USA. They're a nice, pretty blue color. Yep, oops. They, they had a box that was just full of candles and I got a bunch of them. These are store candles. These are taper style candles, but these are a little bit shorter than, you know, the vintage ones we see like this. And they're a little bit thicker and I like these and I use these. And this is, these are store, oh, made in Holland. And this is a box of, so there's two layers behind, so there's this top layer. This staining is just on the packaging. It's not, and, oh, I forgot I got these. So these, I've seen a couple people pick these up or obtain these and not know what they are. Do you know what they are? I know. Just think about it for a minute. We'll come back to those while you think about what they are. And in this box, there were a whole bunch that probably went on a candelabra of some kind, vintage Christmas candles, and they all have the same image. Oh, they don't all have the same. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a tree, a star, and a lamb. And these are unused. They might need a little wiping off, but they're real shiny. They're probably not meant to be burned because that would ruin them. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten of those. And I thought those would also be great in a Christmas sale. Okay, did you guess what those things were? This one has a little teddy bear on it. Doesn't really matter what's on it. And then it says bears in the wood. There's a tag on the back and some magnets. So you could hang it on your refrigerator or a tab. So you could hang it on it, a hook. This one has little kitchen items painted on it. I have one in my own kitchen and it is for pulling the rack out. So when you open your oven and you're ready to take out your cookies and you don't want to put your whole self in the oven to get your tray out, you can use the little hook part to hook the rack and bring it out. And then this part here, which is tabbed this way, you can use it to push back in. What do you think about that? I think they are cute and cool and something that people probably don't know much about and useful. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. These are probably something I would give away, you know, in a box or... <sighs> A package or something. So that's everything from the first estate sale and you just have to come back for part two because I got a lot more stuff for part two. There might actually be three 
for, the, for this sale. So I'll see you next time. Ta! I've been told if you wish on a moon that is new, all of your wishes are sure to come true. We can't be quite certain, but let's have a try and toss some good wishes up into the sky. A sweater for Bobby, a glider for Ted, and Henry, I know, has been wanting a sled. And maybe I'll wish for one thing, just for me. Now wait, let me think. What? Oh, what shall it be? I can't make a choice, so I know what I'll do. I'll wish that your wish is the wish that comes true.